The Obama administration has refused to make legally enforceable rules for immigration detention, rejecting a federal court petition by former detainees and their advocates, and embracing a Bush-era inspection system that relies in part on private contractors. The decision disappointed and angered immigration advocacy organizations around the country. They pointed to a stream of newly available documents that underscore the government's failure to enforce minimum standards it set in 2000, including those concerning detainees' access to basic health care, telephones, and lawyers. Even as the number of people detained has soared to more than 400,000 a year. Paramita Shah of the National Lawyers Guild, which is one of the plaintiffs, says the government's decision, quote, disregards the plight of the hundreds of thousands of immigration detainees. The department has demonstrated a disturbing commitment to policies that have cost dozens of lives. The Guild contends that the lack of enforceable rules is at the heart of persistent problems of mistreatment and medical neglect.